Hey all, welcome back to my channel. I haven't posted a video for a while because I've been on vacation. Let me tell you a bit about it. I started down in Chile. It was actually a work trip, so prior to me going on vacation. Uh, for those that have already been following my channel, I post a lot of stories about my OMAD um, sort of lifestyle, and I was shooting for 100 days. So at about day 80, I was down in Chile. I was down there for work, and I went hiking, and I met, uh, climbed this peak, Mount Cerro Pinto. It was 14,000 feet up. Um, took me about four hours. I did it with a, a guy that I work with who's super fit and I have barely kept up with him the whole way. However, I made it and then I made it back down in two hours. I didn't feel any altitude sickness. But the big story is I did this hike completely fasted. My friend was asking me all the way up, do you want a, do you want a protein bar? Do you want some trail mix? We got to the top, do you want a sandwich, et cetera, et cetera. I did the thing completely fasted. So it just goes to show that you don't need to continually be giving your body sugar and carbohydrates to perform. You can definitely do these sorts of things without food, uh, but definitely take some water. I drank a lot of water on the trip, probably not as much as I should, and take some sunscreen. I got really burnt as well. Um, I'm still recovering from that. It was over a month ago. I went into vacation at about 85 days into my 100-day goal, and then at about day 90, I'm not going to lie, I dropped the ball. We were with family. Uh, it was just becoming too difficult with the time zone changes and feeding the family and feeding the kids and sitting down for group meals that I just cracked and I just said, look, I'm just going to go off OMAD for a couple of weeks and just enjoy the holiday season with family. And I did. I had a great time. I was eating regular meals with everybody. In fact, I was definitely overeating. I was eating sugar and chocolate and alcohol and all the good stuff, you know, had a blowout, didn't stress about it too much. And I knew that when I started in the new year, I'd come back strong and, and restart my journey. But I didn't feel great. Like as soon as I went off one meal a day back to eating regularly, I noticed I felt really bloated throughout the day. I felt heavy. I felt actually more lethargic and more tired, probably because of some of the drinking um, and recovering from the drinking. But I, I'm not saying I got blotto every night or anything like that. We just, you know, we're drinking wines and beers with the family, going fishing, that sort of thing. So I definitely think that that made me recognize that OMAD is the kind of lifestyle I want to lead because I enjoy not having that feeling of bloatedness throughout the day, feeling slightly hungry, feeling kind of, um, you know, anticipating the meal, I think is a really nice feeling and definitely reminded me that when the new year came, I was going to kickstart my journey. So I had about 20 days off. I haven't calculated it probably, you know, just before Christmas to just after new year, um, 20 days of regular eating. And do you want to hear the, the tragic part? Although I lost 14 pounds in the first 80 days and maybe more, I didn't weigh myself before the hike, um, I gained eight pounds back in 20 days. Eight pounds back. So it just goes to show you if you can't maintain that calorie deficit, your body's going to start putting that get those calories back into your fat and straight away you're going to start regaining the weight. I'm sure that I was in calorie surplus for probably all of those 20 days which enabled my body to start storing more fat. So yeah, pretty, pretty sad story. Here's a photo of me when I got back. I do have a tan, which is nice, but yeah, certainly had packed on a few kilos. Um, the good news is that I said to myself, okay, I'm starting OMAD again, but I'm going to really hit it hard for the first, uh, you know, 12 weeks or so. And I'm going to try to do the fast 800 method, which is Michael Mosley, Dr. Michael Mosley's book. Between 700 to 800 calories a day, I'm just going to do OMAD. And I said, look, I'm going to try this. I need to have low carb, shoot for around 50, minimum of 50 grams of protein a day and do that for a solid 12 weeks. So I'm seven days in. And the good news is of those eight pounds, I've already lost half of it back. I've lost four pounds off that already. Um, so I'm really back on the track to getting a healthy weight. So four pounds in a week just by doing OMAD and having sort of calorie restriction, I, it just goes to show you this lifestyle can be used quite flexibly. I probably share a two week update video next week to show my physique. Uh, look out for that. And I'm pretty proud of that. Past video, I said I'd, I'd be answering questions about OMAD that people had had. So the first question that I get asked most commonly in the in the comments below. So if you do have a question, throw it in the comments on any of my videos. I'll, I'll try and answer them in future videos. People often ask me, um, do I need to do one meal a day every day? Or can I do it every other day? Or can I do it, you know, two days a week and have three days off? My response is always, look, you do you, all right? Um, I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a doctor. I'm not even an OMAD sort of advocate. Well, I guess I'm an advocate for this lifestyle, but I'm not going to die in a ditch. And I'm going to tell you it's the best lifestyle to have if you want to maintain a healthy eating habit and a healthy weight. Look, to be honest, it works for me and that's why I do it. And it gives me the flexibility to enjoy 
a meal at night with my family and I can usually eat whatever I want and I can maintain a caloric deficit and I can go on to lose weight. So that's why I do one meal a day and I try to do it every day as I've shared. Um, if you want to try doing one meal a day and you only can do it two days in a row, lifestyle factors, whatever, just do it two days in a row. You can only do other styles of intermittent fasting, 18 and six or two meals a day. Try those. Look, you do you. There's no right or wrong way. Um, I don't like the fact that a lot of people on social media and on the internet and on YouTube channels say, you must do this. If you don't do this, you're not doing it right. Or you must do something this way. And if you don't do it this way, you're not doing it right. Look, you do you, you find what works for you. I'm 37 years old now. I've been trying to find what works for me for probably the last 15 to 20 years, so, you know, since I left school and started to have struggles keeping a, a weight that I wanted to keep. Um, and I found that the OMAD process works for me. I've also found personally that low carbohydrate diets uh, work for me. Uh, they work for other members of my family too. We're quite stocky people. We're quite muscular, um, but we also gain weight really quickly. You do you. I'm an advocate for doing it every day, but I know that's not sustainable, um, but have, have a crack. Other, hey, the other question I get asked all the time is what is a mosquito in front of the camera. Hey, I get asked all the time, what calories are you aiming for in your daily meals? Now I've shared in the past that uh, really what I'm trying to do with OMAD is lose some weight. And the only way to do that is to maintain a caloric deficit. The easiest way to do that is to calculate your basal metabolic rate. There are heaps of calculators online. I did mine recently. You put in your height, you put in your age, you, you just select basal rate, no activity. And that should tell you how many calories, you know, ballpark figure you should need to um, maintain your current weight, just maintenance, right? Maintenance calories. Once you find that out for me, it's around about 1700. You look at it and go, well, if I want any diet to work, I need to be consistently eating less than 1700 calories a day. And that just takes out any of this, oh, but I burnt this much today. And I, you know, I've got my fit watch and my fit watch said I did this many hundred calories. So I'm going to go and eat that back. I wouldn't stress any about that. I'd look at your basal metabolic rate. For me, it's about 1700 calories. And I'd know to have a consistent weight loss, you need to be, you know, anywhere between 200 and 500 calories lower than that. So if I was doing it, you know, and actually calculating my calories, that'd be about 1200 calories per day would be optimum to sustain, to have sustainable weight loss. But I stopped counting calories. I know the ballpark figures I should be going for. Uh, after dieting for many years, I roughly know how many calories are in different types of food and condiments and that sort of thing. And what I've found over the years is, as long as you aim for having the majority of your meal, and we're talking about one meal a day, have the majority of your meal come from whole sources of food, so vegetables as a priority, then secondly, from a good source of protein, such as meat, fish, chicken, pork, I guess pork's meat, beef, chicken, pork, fish. Um, and then a little bit of fat is okay, but don't go crazy. You will find that it's really hard to eat a meal that is over that 1200 calories. For example, the other day I had three cups of steamed vegetables and three tins of tuna, small tins of tuna, and the food, the pile of food was so immense that I almost exploded trying to eat it. And we're talking about 500 calories, if you're lucky. Um, tin tuna is only about 100 calories a can, so 300 calories a tuna. A cup of vegetables is like 20 calories, um, California mixed frozen vegetables. Steam them up, add the tuna, bang, that's a 500 calorie meal. And I could not walk after eating it. I was so full. I've only just finished digesting it. Um, I guess that's an overshare, but I only just finished digesting the other day, uh, a minute ago. Anyway, so although I would be aiming for around 1200 calories a day, really it's the type of food you're trying to eat to be consistently hitting those numbers. So long story short, I would calculate your basal metabolic rate using a calculator. You can find one on Google then shoot for between 200 calories and 500 calories below that, but do it every day. And this is the thing people don't realize, whether you're doing OMAD or ketosis diets or Atkins diets, or, you know, just low calorie diets, you got to do it every day. There's no point having a caloric deficit for three days and then going into surplus for four days, 
even if you're in surplus a little bit, you're going to still maintain your base metabolic rate and you're not going to lose weight. End of story. If you have a question, throw it in the comments on any of my videos. I'll, I'll try and answer them in future videos.